All right, we're going to configure mod organizer now, guys. Let's see. And then we're going to create the profile. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to get is um, down there. So, okay, let's do the let's do the mod organizer. With Skyrim and the creation kit properly configured, the next step is to set up our mod manager utility, create a vanilla Skyrim profile. So, start mod organizer. Okay, so again, I'm going to pull this over here so I can see what I'm doing. So we're going to start mod organizer. This is the first time we're going to start mod organizer. Close that. Which where's my mod organizer? Um, did I not create a short shortcut? That's like the most important one. How could I have not created a shortcut? I'll tell you. All right, let's go find it. Mod organizer. Let's see. Create a shortcut. Drag it out here. I have to get rid of all this stuff and just call it mod organizer. All right, let's run it. Okay, so here we go, guys. There, it's, it started up. Now it's it's found Skyrim uh, because we've already run Skyrim. Remember, um, I accidentally ran this once before and there was nothing up here because we hadn't run Skyrim yet. So we now know it's kind of working. Uh, what did that say? I uh, don't want to show tutorial. No, I do not want to show tutorial. Thank you. Go away. I don't need a bunch of pop-ups. Mod organizer is not set up to handle NXM links associated with that. Okay, just a second. What it's asking is if do we want to set up to handle the Nexus links? I'm gonna say yes. So okay guys, this is Skyrim mod organizer. So here we go. Okay, there's a little button here, configure profiles. We're gonna do this. Make sure these are not checked. Um, we're going to create, and we're going to say um, Vanilla Skyrim. We'll leave that the way it is and hit OK. We're going to take this and remove that. Yes, please. So there you go. That's our Vanilla Skyrim uh, profile. OK. And then we can close this. Okay, so now you can you can select the profile that you want. We're going to come up here to the little screwdriver icon. Click on that. And under, let's see, general, under style, I'm going to put uh, dark. Then in the Nexus tab, we're going to click automatically log into Nexus. I'm going to put in my username and password here. So plugins. Select basic diagnosis plugin in the left pane. Basic diagnosis plugin. Double click on the value to auto check more order and check false. False. Okay. Select BSA extractor. Double click the value to auto and select true. True. Okay. We did that. Workarounds. Verify that the NMM version is at least 0.52.2. It is. Close the window without kicking. OK. All right. OK, guys. So you can see um, one of the things that's, that Mod Organizer does is it's got a list of all the the uh, executables it recognizes. You can add to this, but um, you, you can see it's already got the SKSE, it's got the launcher, uh, it's got loot, it's even got the creation kit sitting here, so kind of nice. Okay, we're going to click, in fact, we're going to play with that right now. So we're going to click this little gears thing, this is the modify executables button. So we should have, according to our guide, SKSE, Skyrim, and the creation kit. SKSE, Skyrim, and the creation kit. It's also got loot here, by the way. So this is good. We've already got this already set up. They're telling us to set it up here in the in the guide, but it's already been set up for us. So we're fine. We gotta do TS edit and wire bash as well. So let's do that. So we're gonna go TS5 edit. And then we'll search for the binary, which is on the should be on the F drive, right?
There it is. It's all good. Okay, go ahead and add that. TS5 edit. And we'll do the same thing for wire bash. Do a search. Go to wire bash. OP wire bash. And add that. Okay, and hit close. So there you go. We got wire bash, we got TES5 edit, creation kit, loot, Skyrim, and the Skyrim launcher, which are more or less identical. And then the SKSE, which is the uh, Skyrim um, script enhancer, or script extender, whatever it is called. Okay, so we've got some, some uh, unmanaged stuff sitting here. This is in the wrong order. So we're going to pull Dawn Guard up top, Hearthfire second, then Dragonborn third, then the texture packs one, two, and three. The order here is important, guys, because like if this, say, Hearthfire changes a texture, okay, and then the high resolution texture pack changes a texture, the one that's lower will get priority over the ones that are higher up. So we're over, if we have to overwrite anything in here, we want these guys to take priority over these guys, okay? That's the way this works, okay? So that's why we're doing it that way. So we want Dawn Guard, Hearthfires, Dragonborn, then High Res Texture, high res texture Packs 1, 2, and 3, okay? All right, we're going to select Loot, and we're going to hit the Run button. And we're going to let Loot run. Okay, so first time we've run this, so we get some tips. So we're going to pull, we're going to do, um, let's see, we're going to sort the plugins. Yeah. So we'll let sort the plugins. Okay, guys. So after we've done that, Loot has calculated the proper load order that we should have. So the Skyrim ESM, of course, that's the main, the main file. Then the update. Then it's got Dawn Guard, Hearth's Fire, Dragonborn and then the resolution texture packs. Um, you can see we've got some warnings and errors going on in here. We'll, we'll deal with that in a bit. But for right now, we'll just hit apply. Um, let's see. Let's make sure there's no special instructions I need to worry about here. Let's pull this over here so we can follow along. Uh, let's re the apply. All right. We'll just go ahead and hit apply and close that. Okay. Uh, this process loads loot to the mod organizer and sorts Skyrim and update Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, Dragonborn, and high resolution te textures. Okay, so open the archives tab in the right plane of the mod. Okay, I gotta get this out of the way. Okay, archives. We're gonna open that up. Have MO manage archive. Make sure this is checked. There you go, it's checked. Verify the boxes adjacent to high-res texture packs are checked. They are checked. Okay. All right. So back to plugins. So you'll notice this little flag here. These are dummies. We don't need these. Turn those off. Okay. So yeah, guys, we've got um, the, the high-res te texture packs checked off, which means we no longer need this, this plugin deal. I mean, you could turn these on. Um, the thing is, you're limited to... 256 I think it is uh, mods and these are dummies there's nothing really in here because we've already got these checked over here okay um, we don't need the, the corresponding ESMs that, which, or the ESPs sorry which is what these are these are not necessary in this case okay because these are texture packs okay there's no real plug-in to, to load all right so that saves us three slots basically. Okay, so at this point, gang, this is our, our vanilla setup, basically. So we're going to do, we're going to come up here and let's see, we're going to hit this button to configure your profile. We're going to take this one and we're going to copy him and we're going to call it Skyrim Revisited, and hit OK. All right, close. 
Okay, I'm going to select that profile. So at this point, guys, what that means is that if we ever wanted to play Skyrim Vanilla, we could just hit that and then hit Run. Go here to Skyrim and hit, or really, SKSE, and hit Run, and it would load Vanilla Skyrim. But if we want to hit the one with all of our mods that we're about to install, we can hit Skyrim Revisited and hit Run. So that's how that works. Okay. I'm going to hit this thing and hit Install Mod. Okay. We're going to go to SKSE, which, where did I put that? Is that in the download section? I think that's probably where it is. There. SKSE, there it is. 7-zip. Okay, there it is. All right, enough. Stop it. Go away. I don't care. <laughs> All right. We're going to change the name of this to Skyrim script extender. Okay. Um, now there's an error here, no game data on the top level. That's because this it's packaged kind of oddly. We're going to click on the SKSE, hit the right small button, and set data directory. Oh, sorry. No, we're going to go to data. Sorry. You got to tell it where the data folder is. So not this one, but this one. Hit that one and hit that. That's what we want. Okay. So that you just, it should say looks good. And then we hit OK. There you go. Skyrim script extender. So we're going to right click and go to information. Categories tab. Patches. Categories. Patches. In the Nexus Info tab. Set the version under the install escape version. Let's set mod ID to minus one. Okay, mod ID minus one. Version. What was our version number? Well, I don't remember. Let's see here. Let's grab our download files. Um. One zero one seven zero three. One point zero seven zero three. Zero seven point zero three. And hit close. There you go. So now we gotta check this box, guys, to turn on the mod. Very nice. Okay, so now he's suggesting that we run the game just to make sure everything's okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the way this works is you go to SKSE, which should now work. Uh, it wasn't going to work before because we didn't have this installed. So let's run and make sure everything's fine. And Skyrim should fire up. There you go. You hit new. So it's basically the same deal, guys. Everything's pretty much the same as it was, um, except we're now running the the script script extender. Which doesn't do anything by itself, but it will help uh, some of our future mods uh, be able to run. OK. So there you go. Here we are, back at the, the intro screen. And again, I can't do anything until the Skyrim logo goes away. Okay, thank you. Quit. Yes, please. So, all is well. Oh, I should have quit to the... I thought I quit to them. Okay, so you can see, guys, um, if I go back to Vanilla Skyrim, not enabled. If I go back to Revisited, enabled. So there you go. That's what we've got to so far. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here. This is probably getting really long because the next step is to clean the, the ESMs, um, which we'll do. 
uh, but that takes a, that takes a minute. So if we look, we have completed all the way through 3.4. So pretty good, all, all of 3 through 3.4. Um, we'll start with 3.5 on the next video. So uh, we'll pick it back up on the next one. I'll see you guys then. Thanks a lot.